guys, it's Carrie. Welcome to part two of my It's a Secret Candle Co. collection. Um, I'm sorry that we had to break this up into two parts. I think my phone just couldn't handle um, a super long video. So we're just going to do it in two separate sections. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's Tuesday today. Um, here in Texas, it's very cloudy. I think we're about to get some rain, but I hope it is nice and sunshiny where you are. Um, so yesterday, I talked to you guys a little bit about this new Etsy shop I found called It's a Secret Candle Co. owned by Mercy. And so far, so good on these yummy smells. Everything is just amazing, super cute. Um, so yesterday, I was able to share with you, um, let's see. Yeah, I shared with you um, the cute lollipops, the scoop shots, the cute little shapes. So today, all that's left are the waxy tiles, the brittle, and the scoops. So let's just get into it. We are going to start with the waxy tiles. All her waxy tiles are are just um, little square shapes. Um, I think waxy tiles is just a super cute name that she gave them. The price that I paid for these uh, is $6.50. And for that price, you get a bag of six little squares. And I'm looking at the ounces. It looks like all of them are four ounces. And I got, let's see how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five. I got five. And we will start with this one here. This is Butterscotch Rum Brittle. It's a pretty little brown color with some glitter. Um, again, I don't see scent notes or pour dates, uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Butterscotch Rum Brittle. Yesterday in my video, you saw that I got a couple of other things from her with rum in it, and it's just so yummy. I'll pull one of these out. It's a pretty color. Oh, that is good. I actually smell more rum in this than I do butterscotch. I wouldn't call it boozy, but you can definitely tell the rum is there. I do get butterscotch a little bit in the background. It's kind of hidden. We'll see if it comes out on warm. But this is really good. I don't want to call it a dark scent, but it's a heavy scent. So I'm thinking that will be a really good one um, in the fall time into the winter. That was Butterscotch Rum Brittle. <clears throat> Okay, next one I have here is Apple Caramel Crunch. Another pretty brown color. And it looks like all of these do have some kind of glitter or sparkle on them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's good. That is so good. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm getting. I get kind of a caramel apple note. It's like a caramel green apple. You know how green apples, those Granny Smith apples, are very tart? I almost get like a tart caramel green apple <laughs> so I get the caramel but I get some kind of tart note in that but it's it's really nice again I think this would also be another really good one um, for the fall and into the winter so that was apple caramel crunch 
Okay, next we have Banana Nut Zucchini Bread Noel. And yesterday you saw I ordered one of her scoop shots in banana nut bread and that one like about blew me out of the house. That was so strong. Okay, that one that I smelled yesterday, the banana nut bread little shot, remember I said that I only smelled like smushed up bananas. I didn't get any bready bakery note in that, but I do in this. Banana Nut Zucchini Bread Noel. Yeah, I'm getting the zucchini bread and I'm getting the banana and it is a yummy, yummy combination. Oh, that is so good. <clears throat> I wouldn't say that this one is as much of a powerhouse as the one from yesterday, but it's good. Yeah, this one is much more of a bready um, bakery scent. Very, very yummy. Okay, next one. Now I'm really not sure about this because this one and the last one that I'm gonna show you were double bagged, but those other three were not. So I'm not exactly sure why that is, unless she was just trying to protect the scent in some way. Oh, I see why. Okay, maybe this is why. This one has one of those wait to cure labels. Maybe that's why she double backed it. I don't know. But this one is in the scent Hawaiian Sunshine. And it is a really, really pretty, almost dark red color. It's a beautiful color. And I love that label. Look at that label. Okay, this, <clears throat> the vibes that I'm getting from this are like if you were on a beach somewhere and there was just the slightest bit of a breeze and when that breeze blows, you smell the water the sand, like that's what I'm getting. I just smell the beach in this scent. I don't get coconut. I don't get any like being tropical or juicy. I just get a fresh beachy scent. Like if you were laying out on the beach and a beach breeze blew over you, it's nice. It's really, really nice. But again, has a wait to cure sticker, so I will wait on that one. That was Hawaiian Sunshine. And then the last one I have here, also double bagged, is Tropical Fruit Loops. Look at that label with the little Fruit Loop bird on it. So cute. And this actually, yeah, this is the only one that came two-toned, so it's green and, I guess, yellow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is spot on for Fruit Loops. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, it just smells like a box of dry Fruit Loops. Mm, it's good. I get the lemon, I get the lime, I get all those fruity notes. Oh, so yummy. I cannot wait for that. Cannot wait for that. Okay, so those were the waxy tiles. And then I've got um, some brittle here. I ordered two little cups of her brittle, and her brittle price is $3.50. And again, her packaging is just so super cute. It comes in this little container. It's just like a little plastic to-go cup. Um, 
two ounces, and this is in the scent Cranberry Cobbler. And I'll open it up and just kind of show you inside are little pieces of brittle. One, two, three, about six pieces. And they're not all cut exactly the same. Like this one here is super small and the others are fairly big, but that does not bother me. That is so good. Okay, this makes me smell... cranberry and cinnamon and some spices. Oh, it's delicious. Almost like, um, you know how you can buy at the store like a, a box of cranberry bread mix and you can make a loaf of cranberry bread with those juicy cranberries? Oh, it's so delicious. This is giving me Thanksgiving vibes. I can see putting this in a warmer, the week of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving day. Oh, that is delicious. I love that. So excited I picked that one up. And then the last little cup of brittle I got is in blueberry butter pecan flapjacks. And the cranberry brittle was that beautiful dark red color and this blueberry one is two-toned with some green and blue and of course with her signature sparkle this one has five pieces but these pieces are much much larger than the other ones yeah I get blueberry It does lean a little bit artificial, but not in a bad way. I'm not sure how much of the butter pecan flapjacks I get. I mainly just get a blueberry scent in this, but it's, it's still nice. Yeah. I'll try that out with my blueberry pie candle from Bath and Body Works. But that was blueberry butter pecan flapjack so her brittle is super cute and then the last thing I have here are her scoops and her scoops sell for six dollars and fifty cents and they are four ounces and like I mentioned in my video yesterday the thing that just kind of drew me in to place an order with her was the way she packages things the way she presents things her Etsy page is just so stinking cute. Um, her labels, yeah, so I knew I had to get some of these uh, scoopables. So we will start right here. Like, look at that label. Look at that. Oh, so cute. This is Goober Grape Stuffed Pie Crust. And I never knew how much I loved grape until I got... I want to say from Goose Creek, um, I got a candle. I think it was like grape soda or something. I fell in love. I was like, where has this been my whole life? So I'm really starting to look more for grape scents in wax. And so when I saw this, I was like, okay. And then you get, you know, the peanut butter note in there as well. And look, two-toned. And there's some sparkle. So when I smell this, obviously the first thing I smell is the grape because you have your purple grape up on the top. So I'm sure once we dig into this, that peanut butter on the bottom will come out. And maybe this will just turn into a delicious, uh, you know, peanut butter and jelly kind of thing with some pie crust. That is going to be delicious because that grape on the top is super it is super. One thing I want to show you um, that she sent in a little Ziploc for my scoops is she sent this awesome 
wooden spoon. So I got one of these for each big uh, scoopable. And then for those smaller ones I showed you yesterday, she sent me, um, I guess this is kind of like one of those little ice cream spoons. So that's super nice. Thank you for that. Okay, next scoopable I got is, now I had this same scent in a little shot yesterday called Cinnamon Sugar Donut Frosted Animal Crackers. And I believe this is the one where I couldn't smell the cinnamon or the sugar or the donut. All I smelled was the frosted animal crackers. So we'll see how the scoopable is. Cute little sprinkles on top. Yeah, and this is exactly the same as the one from yesterday. I'm not getting any cinnamon or sugar or donut. I just get that kind of animal cracker scent. Did not know you could smell animal crackers, but I guess you can. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's good. I hope that that um, cinnamon and the sugar donut note will come out on warm, but we'll have to see. Okay, next one we have here, look at that pretty green color, and again, her labels, so cute. This is in Tropical Flowers, Coconuts, and Limes. That just, like, sounded amazing. I'm not a flower girl, but Tropical Flowers, I was like, okay, maybe, you know, mixed in with the coconuts and the limes, I thought I could do that. Cute sparkle. Oh yeah, this is nice. I get lime. It is not a Fruit Loop lime. It's a real toned down subtle lime, but I get it. And I do get some coconut. I honestly don't get the flowers. For me, this is a coconut lime scent. Yeah, about 50% coconut, do I have glitter on me? <laughs> and 50% lime, so that is a good one. Next, yellow pineapple slices. Pineapple is um, another one like the grape. Didn't know I liked it as much as I do until I started burning some candles and uh, melting some wax, and then I was all about the pineapple, especially this time of year. It's just so refreshing and juicy and sweet. Oh, this is so good. Mm, this is so good. Sometimes you can get a pineapple that is like almost too tart and too, do I want to say acidic? But when you get that right balance of freshness and juiciness. Oh, this is delicious. Yeah, this smells just like you opened up a can of Dole pineapple slices. You know how they're sitting in the can in the juice? That is so good. I am super excited for that one. Okay, next as if you are surprised. <laughs> she doesn't call it pumpkin pecan waffles, but she does call them pumpkin nutty waffles. So I knew I had to get this one. Oh, that is super pretty. Full of glitter. Yeah, this is a ringer, spot on dead ringer for Bath and Body pumpkin pecan waffles. Not as strong. Like, I smell the Bath and Body scent, but like a little bit um, toned down, if that makes sense. Because sometimes when you open up that Bath and Body pumpkin pecan waffle candle, it's like, wow. This is not wow. I get it, but it's a little bit on the softer side, but it's still beautiful. Melt this with a P3 
PPW candle, that is going to be heaven. Heaven. Okay, the last scoopable I got is the only one that came to me with a uh, weight to cure label. The rest of them are good to go. This one, um, I don't remember the exact scent notes. It is something tropical. It is something fruity. It just sounded too cute to pass up. Again, with the Fruit Loop Toucan on there. It's called Twisted Toucan. Now, I know this is not a Fruit Loop scent. I do remember that. It's just a tropical, fruity type scent. I might even get a little bit of floral in here, but not overpowering, overpoweringly floral. It's nice. It's a little bit light, so again, we have the weight label. So we'll wait and see what else comes out on that one. But that is it for the rest of my order from It Is A Secret Candle Co. Guys, this order just amazed me in the best way. Again, her aesthetic, her labels, her packaging, her shapes, it, it's just too cute to pass up. So I encourage you to go to Etsy and find Mercy Shop and place an order when you can. You will not be disappointed. And that is it for today. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your Tuesday. Enjoy your evening. Be safe, be happy, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.